Satellitism test for Haemophilus influenzae. General. Most Haemophilus species do not grow on standard 5% sheep blood agar. While this agar contains hemin, factor X, it lacks NAD, factor 5, which is essential for their growth. Staphylococcus aureus, on the other hand, produces NAD as a byproduct when cultured on blood agar. This enables Haemophilus species to grow in close proximity to S. aureus colonies, a phenomenon known as satelliting. Why Haemophilus needs X and V factors? Haemophilus influenzae utilizes factor X, hemin, to synthesize crucial respiratory enzymes such as cytochromes, catalases, and peroxidase. Factor VNAD serves as an electron carrier in the organism's oxidation reduction processes, facilitating energy production. Haemophilus influenzae in the hemolytic zone. Haemophilus influenzae exhibits growth within the hemolytic zone created by Staphylococcus aureus on blood agar plates. This is because S. aureus lyses red blood cells, releasing nutrients, including NAD, that are vital for Haemophilus influenzae's growth. The NAD diffuses into the surrounding medium, promoting Haemophilus influenzae growth near the Staphylococcus aureus colonies. Haemophilus influenzae will not grow outside this hemolytic zone due to the lack of these necessary nutrients. This phenomenon is referred to as satelliting and, for Haemophilus species, the satellite test effectively replaces the V-factor test. Procedure of the Satellitism Test 1 Suspend a loop full of suspected Haemophilus colonies in about 2 milliliters of sterile saline. 2. Using a sterile swab, inoculate the suspension onto a blood agar plate. 3. Streak a pure culture of S. aureus across the inoculated blood agar plate. 4. Incubate the plate in a carbon dioxide enriched atmosphere at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius for 18 to 24 hours. 5. Examine the culture plate for growth and satellite colonies. Observation and interpretation of the satellitism test. The suspected colonies are likely Haemophilus influenzae if 1. Growth is observed on the blood agar plate. 2. The colonies near the Staphylococcus aureus streak are larger than those further away. Abitrophia defectiva and granulocatella adolescence. Abitrophia defectiva and granulocatella adolescence can also exhibit satellitism around bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus. However, it is important to note that these species may show inconsistent satellite test results, depending on the specific nutrients present in blood agar plates from different manufacturers. Poem of the Satellitism Test On blood's red stage, a tale unfolds, Haemophilus seeks, its story told. X and 5, the factors it craves, in Satellitism's dance, it saves. Staph aureus, a generous friend. NAD it gives its bounty to lend. Near golden colonies, growth takes flight. Haemophilus thrives, bathed in light. Hemolysis is zone, a fertile ground. Nutrients abound, life is found. Satellites emerge, a starry sight, in this microbial, symbiotic night. Abitrophia, granulocatella too, in nutrients dance, they join the crew. Discrepant results, a cautions call, in agar's composition, secrets enthrall. So let the test commence, with swab and streak, in CO2's embrace, answers we seek. Satellitism's art, a story to tell, of microbes' needs, and the bonds they swell.